wonder if Edward and Kay were attacked by Scissor Man. Hmm, I know there's no one here. What? Actually, I didn't. That's why I went. I wonder if Helen's here. Maybe Scissor Man's there. Nah. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. You came just in time. I was just on my way out. Where are you going? Do you remember that statue? The one they found at the scene of the clock tower murders. Yes, what about it? I can't find it anywhere. Professor Barton had it. Hmm. Anything else in here? Nope, just Jennifer. And Professor Barton was called away on some police business. Do you have any idea where it might be? Yes, I found some telephone numbers on the desk. One for the library, and one for a man named Rick. Oh shit, where did I tell him to take it? I told him to take it to Rick, I think. He did mention he'd like to get an expert to look at it. That's the only problem with this game is that it's the action sequences are legendary. They are great. Running from Scissor Man, and every now and then, when you can do it successfully, you can hit him with crap. Um, I have not had much luck with that yet. Of course, Jennifer's she's 15. She's she's scared and easily frightened. <laughs> anyway, she's gonna go see Sullivan. So we'll find out about this Rick fella. But these intermission parts, oh god, they're boring. The text is really slow. It's basically telling me where to go now, though. Who's Nolan? He's this 26-year-old guy I had dinner with last night. And he might be Scissor Man. Let's face it, he's a suspect. And why is there no music for this section? What the hell, game? I hope Nolan's there. Wouldn't this, this would be a great place for... I might put in some music for this section, because this is ass. Maybe the uh, whistle music from Deadly Premonition. Yes, I'm all right. The police didn't want to tell me much, so I had a hard time finding you. Okay. So, it was the Scissor Man? Yes, I know it's hard to believe. Actually, I don't think Nolan could be Scissor Man. He's too tall. Police still think it's just some nutcase. Well, that pretty much fits the bill. Is there anything I can do? Actually, yes. Yes, there is. Do you know a man named Rick? I think he's involved in the clock tower case. I was just going to interview him. Really? Really? He used to be the butler for the Barrows family. I ran into someone who happened to know that. I thought I'd go ask him what he knew about the Barrows family. What about him? Well, Professor Barton might have given the statue to him. You mean the one they found at the scene of the murder? Yes, I want every little clue relating to this case. Okay, well, should I get the statue from you? Alright, I'll go see him and get it. Well... I don't want to put him in danger. I should do this. Thank you for your offering, but Helen is looking for it now. No, I mean, I want to go see Rick, but... Ah, damn it, game. That's not what I meant at all. Thank you, Nolan. I meant I should go get it from Rick. Edward, huh? Hmm. Okay. Edward's in danger. Oh, for Helen. Excuse me, is Mr. Sullivan in? Mr. Sullivan? He's in the head librarian's office. A.K.A. the crapper. I see, thank you. Okay, let's...
probably not behind the reception desk. Oh, it's Edward. How you doing, little guy? It's boring at the hotel. So I came to the library. Come on, surely you can say something besides, hmm. Is Kay here? No, she isn't. Talkative little shit, ain't he? Yeah. Well, fair enough. Let's go find Sullivan. This looks promising. Reading room can't be entered without a key? That seems silly. I'm sure this is Mr. Sullivan's office. Well, go in, stupid. Don't stand around talking about it. Huh. Hey, how you doing? Anything else in here? Nope. Just him. Hello, Helen. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Mr. Sullivan? I heard about what happened to you. How terrible. Yes. By the way... Yes, I heard. There's something you'd like to research. I'll give you a key to the reading room. So you can use the reference materials. As you please. Reading room's right next door. Oh, and... The statue? Oh, yes, that's it. However, I don't recall Professor Barton leaving it with me. But I'll look into it. So you might stop by on your way out. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Sullivan. That was damn decent of him. Now I can enter the reading room. Yay! We'll go in. Lord, woman. There are many valuable works here, only available through the university. Personnel. I just hope there's something here that will help me explain the scissor. Okay, well, let's look at the books. Hey, music, finally. Don't seem to be in this area. Step ladder. Yes. Yes, it is. This is a book I've been wanting to read for a long time. But this is hardly a good time. Oh, you idiot. I hate you, Helen. Yes, it's a step ladder. Can you go up the step ladder, or are you just going to look at it? Oh, well, I guess we can chalk this off as not having found anything. Oh, well, let's take off. No, you don't, you idiot. You can't find anything. Oh, I hate you. Oh, here we go. There's one right next to the stepladder. Books relating to England. Ah, oh, there we go. Lords of Northern England, this is it! Oh, hey. 
the library will be closing shortly. Time for us to die. Well, damn. Well, this gives me a clue about Scissor Man. I should leave soon. We should go talk to, uh, what's-his-face before we leave. That's what he said. Strange, the clock is chiming. Anything about the statue? Oh, Mr. Sullivan. Ellen! It seems the bells of the giant clock are broken. I think I'll go have a look. Well, I'll go with you then. Please follow me. That seems reasonable. The clock hasn't been working for I wonder if someone has been messing with it. Oh, no. Mr. Sullivan? Oh, no. Why did it stop? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Run, you idiot. Run! Keep running! Sweet lord, no! No! He's gonna get me! Um, let's hide in Sullivan's office. He'll never find us in here. Um, door? Any- anything? What the hell, game? Um, he's gonna get us. We gotta keep running. Oh, shit! Well, that's no good. That's unfortunate. Thanks, game. Well, let's go look at the new hint. Might do we get that in the pinch? There are many times when clicking on some item will rescue the character. Try to click on something until the very end. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. Wow, that's a really crappy... Really, game? <laughs> You're gonna start me there, huh? You suck. Okay, back in here. A little faster, a little faster, please. Um... Oh, not under the desk, but he's gonna know we're in here. Oh, I see. We're gonna wallop him. Don't, like, take the scissors and cut off his head or anything. Edward's upstairs? What the hell's he doing upstairs? Edward. You little idiot. Ellen? Edward's voice, and it's coming from that room. Seriously? Seriously? So Edward Scissorman, or someone who can impersonate Edward is Scissorman. There you go. Mystery solved. And he's chasing me again. Um, oh, that's the door I came up. Let's get the hell out of here. Why is he down there? Son of a bitch, game. He's just messing with me. Hide up the ladder. I think we're gonna womp him again. And... Womp him. Boy, Helen doesn't take any shit from this guy. <laughs> Okay, I'm down with her. <sighs> okay, now can we go downstairs? <sighs> 